In 1929, Edwin Hubble changed the game with a discovery that shook the foundations of our understanding of the universe. He revealed that the universe isn't infinitely old, but actually has a definite age. Using cutting-edge telescopes of his time, Hubble noticed something astonishing. Galaxies farther away seemed to be moving away from us at a faster pace. This pointed to one mind-blowing fact. Our universe was expanding. And it wasn't just expanding randomly. It was doing so uniformly in all directions. This discovery allowed scientists to estimate the universe's age by measuring this expansion rate, which we now call the Hubble constant. But, oh boy, it's been one roller coaster of a journey. Throughout the years, we've attempted various methods to gauge the universe's expansion rate. One method involves observing nearby supernovae, while another relies on studying the cosmic microwave background radiation that flooded the universe post-Big Bang. Here's the kicker. These methods don't exactly see eye to eye. The cosmic microwave background radiation suggests the universe is expanding today at around 67.8 km per s per megaparsec, while the other method puts it at 73.2 km per second per megaparsec. That's a roughly 10% difference, igniting fiery debates among physicists and astronomers alike. If both measurements hold true, it implies our current understanding of the universe's makeup is missing some crucial puzzle pieces. This conundrum has been aptly dubbed the crisis in cosmology. To tackle the crisis, scientists turned to the Hubble telescope in hopes of nailing down the true rate of the universe's expansion. What they found added a whole new layer of complexity. The universe isn't expanding at a uniform rate everywhere. Then came the bombshell. When researchers recently aimed the James Webb Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye into the cosmos, at the puzzle, things went haywire. The James Webb Telescope's findings didn't just muddy the waters further regarding the Hubble paradox. They also ruled out any simple calculation errors. It's like opening Pandora's box for cosmology. Suddenly, everything we thought we knew might be up for grabs the universe might not be as consistent in all directions as we assumed, potentially shaking the very foundations of modern cosmology and setting off a chain reaction. The trusted standard model of cosmology, the one attempting to explain the Big Bang and the universe's evolution over the past 13.7 billion years, is starting to quiver. And it's not just idle speculation. Leading astronomers worldwide are gathering for a high-stakes meeting at London's Royal Society to scrutinise this model and our comprehension of the cosmos. We've been relying on a model crafted back in 1922, remarked UIA Saar, an Oxford cosmologist and one of the event's organisers. But its theoretical underpinnings are showing their age, and more and more voices in the astronomical community are echoing this sentiment. These aren't just any astronomers, they're highly respected figures. A group of scientists using the James Webb Telescope has come across intriguing evidence suggesting that the universe might not be expanding uniformly across all regions. This revelation sparks speculation that certain cosmic behemoths could be exerting influence over the universe's expansion rate. What's more, the Webb Telescope has identified thousands of quasars hinting at a potential imbalance in the universe's structure. Researchers observed that one half of the universe seems to harbour more quasars, indicating an uneven distribution of mass in the vast cosmic expanse. This discovery throws a wrench into our understanding of dark energy, the hypothetical force proposed to account for the universe's accelerating expansion. If substantiated, it implies that a significant portion two-thirds, to be precise, of the universe remains unaccounted for," remarked Sucker. Presenting fresh insights from the James Webb Space Telescope, Professor Wendy Fredman remarked, We're confronted with a myriad of intriguing clues, each with its own level of significance. It's imperative that we delve deeper into areas where the standard model might falter. There's no clear-cut solution that will withstand the test of time. In the midst of these revelations, Alexia Lopez, a PhD candidate at the University of Central Lancashire, stumbled upon what seemed to be cosmic marvels dubbed the Big Ring 
and the giant AR. These colossal structures, delineated by galaxies and galaxy clusters, exist on a scale that defies the expectation of a smoothly distributed universe. In a remarkable astronomical breakthrough, a team of astrophysicists hailing from the University of Central Lancashire has revealed a monumental cosmic structure known as the Big Ring. This colossal entity stretches across a staggering diameter of 1.3 billion light years, presenting a conundrum that pushes the boundaries of our cosmic comprehension. Indeed, the presence of this immense structure poses a significant quandary for our understanding of the universe. It's a perplexing anomaly that defies conventional wisdom. Situated approximately 9.2 billion light years away from Earth, nestled near the handle of the Big Dipper, the Big Ring remains elusive to the naked eye. Its faintness necessitated extensive time and computational resources to meticulously identify the myriad galaxies composing this enigmatic structure. Here's how they cracked the code. Scientists scrutinized luminous entities called quasars, positioned beyond these structures, gauging the absorption of quasar light. This analytical approach unveiled the hidden presence of the Big Ring. Adding to the intrigue, the discovery of the Big Ring coincided with the revelation of another substantial formation dubbed the Giant Arc. But what makes this revelation so perplexing? Enter the cosmological principle, a cornerstone concept in astronomy. According to this principle, mammoth structures like the Big Ring should not exist as they challenge the notion of uniform matter distribution throughout the cosmos. Put simply, the cosmological principle posits that, from a macroscopic standpoint, the universe should exhibit uniformity across its expanse without exception. In the prevailing lambda cold dark matter model, which enjoys widespread acceptance. This principle dictates that matter should be evenly dispersed up to a distance of roughly 1.2 billion light years. However, the Big Ring's sheer size surpasses this threshold, presenting a formidable obstacle to the model's validity. Hold on to your seats because the Big Ring isn't the lone rebel challenging the established order of the cosmos. Brace yourself for the Clocosano Quasar Group, a collection of six colossal megastructures defying the cosmological principle, scattered haphazardly throughout space. Take, for instance, the group of 34 quasars discovered in 1991, sprawling over a vast expanse of 2 billion light years. Yet, that's just the tip of the iceberg compared to the behemoth known as the Large Quasar Group, stretching an astonishing 4 billion light years. And let's not forget about the Great Arc, extending across 3.3 billion light years, accompanied by the newly unearthed Big Ring. But wait, the grandest of them all is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a supercluster of galaxies spanning an astronomical 10 billion light years. Are these cosmic marvels mere chance occurrences, a twist of fate in the vastness of space? Not quite. The Big Ring, in particular, stands out with a staggering 5.2 sigma significance, indicating its formation by random chance is astronomically improbable, with odds of less than 1 in 3 million. So, where does this revelation leave us? It's clear that something doesn't quite add up, prompting a re-evaluation of our existing models. As Don Pu, a physics professor at the University of Warwick, puts it, it's incredibly challenging to envision any mechanism capable of birthing these structures. Instead, the authors suggest a tantalizing possibility. Perhaps we're witnessing echoes from the universe's infancy, where waves of dense and sparse material became entrenched in the extragalactic medium. Yet, amidst these theories, a fundamental question looms large. How do such colossal structures come into existence? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Share your comments below. Meanwhile, our cosmological model finds itself ensnared in yet another perplexing enigma. More than two years post the triumphant launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers are reveling in a golden era of discovery, as the telescope boldly pushes the boundaries of our celestial knowledge. However, amidst the wealth of revelations, a Pandora's box of mysteries has been flung open for cosmologists. 
Recently, the telescope's gaze once again traversed back to the first 500 million years following the Big Bang, unveiling galaxies that defy conventional expectations of cosmic infancy. Enter a galaxy that could potentially rewrite the annals of cosmic antiquity. Astonishingly, this ancient behemoth already hosts billions of stars, defying prior assumptions about galaxies in the early universe. Just two years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope chanced upon this cosmic titan as a curious speck of light within its field of view. Little did scientists anticipate that this peculiar glimmer held the secrets of a colossal galaxy lurking at the edge of time. A revelation that only came to light through the penetrating gaze of the Webb Telescope. Dubbed G's 9P3, this primordial galaxy boasts a redshift of Z equal sign 9.3 offering a glimpse into its state a mere 510 million years post the Big Bang. While other galaxies from approximately 3.5 billion years post Big Bang have been observed, none match the staggering massiveness of G's 9P3. These discoveries suggest that the stars within this galaxy must have coalesced at a breathtaking pace, defying previous notions of stellar formation efficiency. But there's more to the story. G's 9P3 sports an intriguing shape, hinting at the early universe's hidden secrets. Researchers unearthed two luminous patches within the galaxy, indicating the presence of two dense nuclei, a telltale sign of a galactic collision where two primordial galaxies collided amidst the cosmic infancy. Furthermore, the research team delved deeper into the ancient galaxy's secrets, not only deciphering its age, mass and shape, but also peering into its stellar composition. Their scrutiny revealed a dominance of young, luminous stars within G's 9P3. Leveraging the JWST's capabilities, they honed in on specific elements like silicon, carbon and iron within the older stars of this galactic relic. Iron being the heaviest element stars can forge, holds vital clues about the galaxy's evolutionary journey. As these stars met their explosive end, they dispersed these elements into the cosmos, enriching the early universe with metals crucial for the birth of subsequent stellar generations. Intriguingly, the team unearthed a larger population of older stars within G's 9P3 than initially anticipated, hinting at a swifter chemical maturation process for the galaxy. This accelerated enrichment suggests that stars may have formed and matured at a pace far exceeding previous estimations, challenging our existing understanding of early galactic evolution. The revelation of such unexpectedly mature stellar populations not only prompts a re-evaluation of our cosmological framework, but also suggests that galactic mergers may have played a predominant role in shaping the universe in its infancy. While our current cosmological paradigm may not be fundamentally flawed, it's evident that our perception of the rapidity of galaxy formation requires refinement, especially considering the newfound galaxy's staggering mass. What are your thoughts on these groundbreaking discoveries? Share your insights in the comments below and remember to subscribe to Cosmic Discovery for more cosmic revelations because this universe is yours to explore.